Hey there, how are you guys doing? Well, as promised, this is the part 2 of the interviewing questions video. In the first part, I discussed the questions that you must ask. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the questions that hold absolutely no salt and you can drop. Keep watching. My name is Hardik Harsora and I run a management consulting company. It's been 10 years that we've been helping small and medium sized enterprises grow systematically. If you think you have a business problem but don't have time to resolve that business problem, then you can hire us. To do so, all you need to do is go on to my website, scroll down, select the relevant area you need help and assistance on, answer a few very basic questions and there you will be able to book a free one-time consultation call directly with me where i can tell you how my company can help your company so there are several questions that you can actually drop from an interview in this video i'm going to be discussing four key questions that you must absolutely not have in your interview and at the end i would summarize by explaining you why people end up asking the wrong questions question number one what do you know about us now every time i see somebody asking this question i always make sure i ask the interviewer why did you ask this question and what was the objective most of the time the interviewer tells me well i was trying to figure out if this person is preparing enough before appearing for an interview why would you want somebody to prepare for an interview you want to know that person the way he is on his normal day second do you really want your employees to prepare every day and then work no right and if that preparation is required then you have a problem my friend your business probably is so ad hoc that every day is different from the previous day and if that's the problem you got to fix that problem and not hire people who can uh, manage in that problem somehow second question can you work under pressure <laughs> my dear friend first question i have for you if you are asking this question why is there pressure in your company pressure is present when things that you got to do are not streamlined when you do not have adequate number of people when you hired incorrectly and you have all people who don't have skills to do the job that they need to do these are all again business process challenges solve that trust me there is nobody on planet earth that in his same mind would want to work in pressure last but not the least what if i told you yes i can work in pressure what do you make out of that answer nothing so drop this question the third question where do you see yourself five years down the line well i have a question for you if you're asking this question did you really know where you would be five years ago no most of us don't know. Our world is changing rapidly. Technological innovations are happening rapidly. People are changing so fast that the generation gap now is between uh, two people with one year of difference, right? That's the generation gap. In such a scenario, if you ask a person to predict where he will be five years down the line, take my word, we are up for a fantastic story. Besides, how are you going to judge whether what he's saying is actually what he believes? in there is no way to do that so stop asking this question the last and an absolutely funny one why should i hire you well if i was a candidate and i had so many options to actually go for the job i would really want to ask the interviewer well that sir you got to decide why should i hire you i mean you don't want to ask the person for a brilliant sales pitch what answer are you expecting out of him nothing he's only going to talk good about him. he's going to say i'm honest i can do this job xyz how do you validate his answer you can't so stop asking questions like this now why did i cover only four questions well we can go for the entire day and i can go ahead and tell you questions after questions and we'll still not end 
But the reason why I uh, stopped at four questions is because it's important to know the causes and resolve it at that point. Now, what is the reason why people end up with such questions that have zero objective? You are trying to judge nothing. Well, there are three reasons only. And these are the three areas. If you correct, your interviewing questions will never go wrong. Number one, this happens, number one, because you are not clear on the job profile. Maybe you are trying to hire somebody who can do multiple roles. Well, if that's the scenario, you are definitely confused on how to judge the person. So create job profiles, job profiles that are present in the market. Don't mix two job profiles and create a unique position because unique people with unique skills, skills that can help both the work types not present my friend. Number two, if you don't have a very clear job profile, you definitely don't know what are the skills that the person needs to have. What is the attitude the person needs to have? And if you don't know this, you definitely don't know the parameters that you got to judge a person on. If you don't know the parameters, obviously your questions are going to go in all directions. And to fill up that empty space, when the right question is not coming to your head, you are going to end up asking questions like this. Third, you may have questions, you may have parameters, you may have job profile, but if you don't have a recruitment process, there is nothing to remind you on what parameters you got to gauge and therefore what questions you got to ask. There has to be a systematic recruitment process. It, there has to be a document that every interviewer carries when he enters the interview program. He needs the, the checklist must have all the parameters that you got to ask and the questions uh, or a set of questions that you can ask to gauge a person on one parameter, on each parameter. And then you may also have weightages to say this parameter is more important than the other one. When you score, there has to be a scoring method on each parameter. You should be able to figure out whether this person is a higher or a reject. And this kind of system, everybody in your organization who is responsible to interview must be calibrated on. So if you reject, everybody else should also reject. If you accept, everybody else should also accept. If you create a system like this, you will never ever go wrong on your interviewing questions. Now, if you have not watched my part one of the interviewing questions, I'm going to paste the link. It will appear somewhere here if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, it will appear in the description box. Make sure you see that video to never go wrong on your interviewing questions. If you like this video, do hit a big fat thumbs up. Share this video with everybody who's either an entrepreneur or who's in the job of taking interviews. They will all bless you because now they know what questions need to be asked and what questions need not be asked. If you have not subscribed to this channel, my dear friend, not all good things are free. Go hit that red subscribe button, break it into two, play with the bell icon so that that you never ever miss the video that I put up to help your business propel. So until we meet next time, keep learning, keep implementing, keep taking interviews and asking the right questions. And all you lovely folks, keep coming.